Jake, stop screwing around. You're gonna run the battery down. We're gonna be stuck here forever. Can we call a tow truck now? Hey, have faith in your dad, all right? I can fix this thing. But that's what you said an hour ago. Stop being such a pessimist. It's a pessimist? A pessimist is someone who doesn't believe in anything. Okay, I think I got it. Why don't you give it a whirl? Try and turn it over. All right, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Stay, stop! You're gonna blow up the engine. I wanna go home. I do too, bud. I do too. All right. Okay, try again. No bad words, buddy. It's only bad people. Mom says you've become a bad person. <laughs> Does she now? She said that you've just lost your way and we need to pray harder for your salvation. You don't believe any of that crap, do you? It's not crap, Dad. Yes, it is crap. It's complete crap. It's just a story. God's not sitting up on a cloud waiting to answer your prayers. Bad things happen in the world, okay? And there's nothing you and I could do about that. Even if it is a story, it makes Mom happy. Yeah, but that doesn't mean it's true. Mom says you have to have faith. What, buddy? I have to go to the bathroom. But we were just at a gas station about an hour ago. Why didn't you go then? I didn't have to go then. All right, we'll go now. Where? When you're outside, the world is your toilet. Uh, Dad? Yeah, what now? I can't undo the seatbelt. What? What are you? What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? says I should always steal my seatbelt when I'm in the car. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're not moving anymore. You don't need your seatbelt. Drake! No! Oh, no! a wedding was taking place has been bombed, killing dozens and injuring many more. Already there are rumors circulating that this was not an insurgent attack, but the result of a precision-guided smart bomb. Pentagon officials have refused to comment on this issue, but we understand the Secretary of Defense will be holding a briefing later on today. The question being raised here, Tom, was if this was an American bomb, was the target intentional? Or was this just an unfortunate accident? Yes, I'm sure that will be one of the questions raised with the secretary. Was this an accident or a failure of technology? Or was this the result of targeting based on bad intelligence? Which allegedly has happened before. Yes, Jane. In fact, there was another incident I'm sorry, Tom. Involving... That's all the time we have for now. Coming up, tired of dieting? Our next report is about an intuitive diet that lets you eat whatever you want, when...
Habib, how's it hanging? You know, I've told you a million times my name is not Habib. It is Samir. Yeah, well, you know, you don't really look like a Samir. I mean, I think Habib is a much more befitting name for you. Okay, well, whatever you say, uh, Jack. Will you be wanting your cigarellos? Oh, yes. No lectures. You know, they're very bad for you. They're worse than cigarettes. Yeah, well, then stop selling them. <laughs> it's not my establishment. Yeah, well, then tell your uncle to stop selling them. Uh, we would lose all the business. You would not come in here just to buy your bloody sour cream. Red terms? Indeed. And you're keeping me from my studying, so. So what? So you must leave the store now, my friend. All right. But I'm not leaving till I hear you say it, Habib. Huh, my name is not Habib. Okay, okay, all right. But I'm not leaving until I hear you say it. <laughs> If I said, will you leave the store and leave me in peace? Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you. Come again. Yeah? <laughs> I love it. Oh, I'll tell you what. You crack me up with that every time. You I can't smoke in here. Now, get out. Relax. Get I'll out. Be, hey, I'm just busting your balls. Yeah, it's hilarious. It's hilarious. For the hundredth time, it's hilarious. Get out, Jack. Car trouble? Uh, oh. <laughs> you scared me. What are you doing here, Jason? Nothing. I just... My car broke down. I'm just trying to fix it. Yeah, in front of my house. It's my house, too. Don't play dumb with me. Who's playing? You always used to say I was stupid. I never called you stupid. Just not as smart as you. OK, wh what is the point? Of going through this again? I don't. That, I, I don't. There's no point. I, my car broke down, and I just need to fix it. Jason, we are over. Just please stop trying to involve me in your life. Hey, I saw you on on TV the other day. Your career's really taken off. Congratulations. Thanks. What do you want? I miss him, Jane. I mean, don't you miss him? Or is that religion of yours just to help you forget about it? It gives me comfort. Could never make me forget. That's ridiculous, and you know it. I miss us. Don't. Jake is gone. We're over, and we can't go back. I cannot go back. Killed him. Stop it. Okay, look. You know that I think you're a piece of shit, right? You're a shitty husband, shitty father, all around shitty provider. Nobody thinks you are a bigger piece of shit than I do. <laughs> Okay, I get it. I get it. I'm a piece of shit. No, you're a big piece of shit. Do you think for one second that if I blamed you for Jake's death, I wouldn't tell you? I'd be the first to tell you, but it wasn't your fault. So just stop blaming yourself. Jason, you need help. I need you. No. through here anyway. Did you call that number I gave you? I don't need to see a shrink. Yes, you do. You think I'm crazy? A sane person would not keep parking in front of his ex-wife's house when she repeatedly asked him not to. <sighs> Jason, you're scaring me. 
never used to scare me. Please, just call the number I gave you. I just wish I could undo the past. Yeah, well, you can't. The same person would know that. The White House has appointed a special prosecutor to investigate allegations of black market trading of human body organs in Iraq. Several American companies having multi-million dollar contracts with the Pentagon are involved. Private contractors also named in the investigation include LCS, who've been investigated before by the GAO for alleged overbilling in previous government contracts. In other news, with the presidential election coming up in two years, candidates on both sides of the aisle are stepping forward. One of the most intriguing is Arizona Senator Chuck Palantine. He's young, energetic, and prepared to take U.S. foreign policy in a new direction. But... What the fuck's going on? Where are we? Where's the convoy? <sighs> we be lost, man. No, seriously, Bob, where, where are we? What's wrong with the vehicle? I and I be moving right out of Babylon. So me not go on a listen for your fussy talk, Rattler. Where is the rest of the convoy? Red 5 to go later. What's your 20? Dude, I lost them about five minutes ago. All I'm getting static on that thing. What's wrong with the vehicle? Bitch just died. They didn't stop? Fuck no. Christ, man, I wouldn't stop out in this godforsaken place for my own mother. We gotta get out of here. We're sitting ducks. Yeah, well, could be worse. Could be worse? How could it be worse? You could have diarrhea. <sighs> just saying. It's not funny, Bob. All right, all right. Relax, man. I can fix it. You can fix this? You can't even put batteries in a GPS and you can fix this? That is electrical. This is mechanical. Dude. Relax, man. All this stress is going to kill you. Tell me to relax one more time, and I'm going to shoot you. All right, what's the deal here? How's your wife? She's filing for divorce. Why? Uh, it's complicated. It always is. Why are we talking about this? I thought I saw it on the news last night. You know what, Bob? Let's focus here, okay? All right? Step one, assess your situation. Okay, well, we're broken down on the side of a road in Iraq. Uh huh. Brand new, shiny SUV. We might as well hang signs from our heads saying, shoot us, we're stupid Americans. Stupid crusading Americans, man. Don't start with that shit. We're the direct descendants of the Templars, here to reclaim the Holy Land in the name of the one true God, man. Well, stop it. You gotta get in touch with your spiritual side, dude. I don't like that. The last thing I need is for you to be high right now. You got me out of stress. Anyways, relax. It's just a pinner. Chill out. I'm going to fail my drug test because of you and your secondhand pot smoke. Relax. Who's your number one hookup for clean urine? Great. Lost in a fucking war zone with Tommy Chong. Insurgency, dude. This is not a war. Don't you watch your wife on the news? Mission accomplished. We're just a cleanup crew. We're not soldiers. We're private contractors managing an insurgency. Yeah, well, we're going to be two dead contractors if we don't manage to get this bitch working and get the hell out of Dodge. I think the alternator's blowing, man. Alternator? Yeah. And which component would that be, Sergeant? Exactly. Let's get walking. We're 30 miles from the green zone, dude. I say we wait. Fuck that. We go back the way we came, we're bound to bump into some friendlies. And we might even find an area where we get some radio reception. Whew, it's hot. Oh, would you put that out? Well, you need to relax, man. No, I need you to be alert. I don't want my last conversation on this planet to be with some white reggae Rasta wannabe. 
not a Rastafarian. Oh, yeah? What are you this week? I'm a Buddhist. <laughs> Buddhist? Yeah, I'm a Buddhist. I believe in the eternal return. Does that have something to do with you being high all the time? <sighs> it's a central tenet of Buddhism. I thought Buddhism was all about orange robes and shaved heads. <laughs> this notion of the eternal return postulates the continuing cycle of birth, death, and rebirth of an individual ad infinitum until such time as that person achieves enlightenment and is released from earthly suffering. So like deja vu all over again. Yeah. All of human history repeating itself over and over in every detail from the fall of Rome to this very conversation. So we've been here before? Uh-huh. That is worse than diarrhea. Who was that? Be an IED over there. Let's go check it out. Oh, fuck that, man. That could be the convoy. It could be someone else to get us out of this godforsaken place. All right, man, but you first. Brains before beauty. Come on. Move it, Sergeant. Shit. <laughs> Where are you going? Hey, 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 that body might have an IED rigged in it. Are you paranoid? Yeah, just because I'm paranoid doesn't mean I'm wrong. No, the expression is just because I'm paranoid doesn't mean they're not after you. Oh, well, thanks for the tip, Rummy. <laughs> hey, 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 don't touch the body. Jay, he's clean. He's, he's not rigged with a bomb. What the fuck are you doing? Getting me some clean urine, now cover me. Quit fucking around. Seriously, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna stick this catheter into this man's urethra and extract the remaining urine from his bladder. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Where'd you think I got it from? Oh, this is so wrong. Besides oil, this is Iraq's biggest natural resource. I thought you were a Buddhist this week. Didn't seem very enlightened. Well, I just started on the path to enlightenment. Never said I was there. Oh, this is so wrong. Who's to say what's right and wrong? Besides, Samir here don't mind. How do you know this guy's even got clean urine? Well, 13 years of sanctions and the rules of the Quran kind of guaranteed that these Hajis got the cleanest urine around. Besides, even if they wanted to, they couldn't afford to take anything to make their piss dirty. Oh, yeah, you got a point. Where'd he come from? Stop! What the fuck are you doing? Stop! He's a kid, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Grenade! Grenade! Get your hand off of me, Dr. Bin Laden. Uh, it's, uh, Dr. Habib, Mr. Philby. Despite my appearance, I was born and bred in New York. In pain? <laughs> Only want to breathe. Where the fuck am I? This is the LCS infirmary. So you're on the right side? No more for LCS, just like you. So I fucked up or what? You'll live. I'm gonna give you some morphine. Any drug allergies? No. History of drug abuse? No. If I did, you think I'd tell you? I smoke cigarillos. Mm, cigarillos. It's very bad for you. It's worse than cigarettes. I know. Do you have any? <laughs> no. And even if I did, you couldn't smoke in the infirmary. Yeah, I should kill the pain. <sighs> Can be enough to kill a horse. Call the nurse if you need more. are questioning our presence in Iraq. Perhaps benefiting most from this shift in public opinion is Arizona Senator Chuck Palantine, whose campaign for the Republican Party nomination is picking up momentum 
Thank you, Tom. And now something voters of every political persuasion can agree upon, mom's apple pie. Senior Beltway correspondent Roger Penrose has this one. I can't find the source of the bleeding. Open the flak jacket. Why would the injury be inside the jacket? Tonight? Just do it. <laughs> oh, God damn it. I think you lost him. Nurse, get rid of this mess. Get someone in here to clean this shit up. You could have helped to save that man. The subject was beyond saving. Size had already yielded all the necessary information. Subject, that was a person. Really? What was his name? What was his name? I don't know. Nor do I. Nor do I care. You do? That makes you weak. No, that makes me human. Oh, save it for your gin-fueled mea culpas back at the swamp, Hawkeye. You're just as much a part of this as I am. So stop looking for the ethical justifications and start seeing it for what it really is, an experiment. An experiment that just blew up in your face. Indeed. Less than 12 hours after incubation. Your thermogenesis virus is mutating. Which means? The antivirus might be ineffective. We have to quarantine this entire wing and anyone came in contact with the subject. Who the fuck is that? Uh, it's just a, a casualty from escort duty. Why is he here? Well, we, have, we have nowhere else to treat him. Well, get rid of him. No, no, we can't do that. Don't tell me what we can and cannot do. Uh, I'm just saying he would have been exposed, so we should isolate him and, and, and monitor him, right? Jesus Christ, he's conscious. God knows what he's seen and heard. No, 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 don't, don't worry. He's too built up on morphine to know what's going on. Good. This will all seem like a bad dream. Sorry, sir. Relax. Did you get a light on you? I, I don't smoke. How old are you? I just turned 21 yesterday, sir. Oh, well, happy birthday. Thank you, sir. A little hungover? I don't drink, sir. Why the fuck not? Finally reached legal drinking age, and you didn't even get drunk on your birthday. There's no alcohol allowed on base, sir. Yeah, all right. I'm just busting your balls, son. Have a smoke. Uh, I don't smoke, sir. What are you, pussy? You have a smoke, it's an order. I promised my mom I wouldn't smoke cigarettes. Oh, well, these aren't cigarettes. Cigarillos. Those are the things Wolverine smokes. If you say so, kid. There you go, son. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. That's flavor. <laughs> yeah, we'll make a man of you yet out here. <coughs> How long you been here? A few minutes, sir. No, over here. Not a rack. Three days, sir. 
feel lightheaded. That's normal. The staff sergeant says that we shouldn't smoke cigarettes at our post, sir. He says it makes us less vigilant. Well, the staff sergeant's an asshole. Sir? I can say that because I outrank him. But you can think it. I don't think that's it, sir. Sure, you don't. Don't let anyone tell you what to think, Private. I just follow orders, sir. As do we all. As do we all. Smoke your smoke, be cool. Nobody's gonna fuck with you, son. You are a U.S. motherfucking Marine. You're the most dangerous weapon in the Pentagon's arsenal. I've never fired my weapon at anything living, sir. I don't know if I can. Stop whining like an army fag. Play the part. You'll be fine. Tell that raghead he can't park here. Hey! You can't park here! Go check it out. Yes, sir. A private. Yes, sir. Put out that smoke. Always listen to your staff sergeant, even if he is an asshole. Yes, sir. Test results are inconclusive. You have to do them again. Yeah, yeah it's because the, the virus is mutating too fast. The genetic markers we've been looking for are no longer present in the active samples. That's not possible. Yes, it is, Doctor. Even God makes mistakes. I am I not, am not in, in error. error. What are you hoping to accomplish here? This, this time of day, day where I once again have just justify the professional ethics of our research to you. Just indulge me, all right? What possesses the man of your obvious intellect to devote himself to something so diabolical? Diabolical? First, first time God, now I'm the devil. Just tell me your, your version of the greater good here. Do you see it? In a, in a war. We're in a, we're in a war with an enemy that doesn't, that doesn't play, play by the rules. We're in a, we're in a war, war with an enemy that convinces its own children to blow themselves up. I just, I want, just to want to level the playing field. What they do with religion, I can do with science. Are you remotely aware of how twisted and absurd your logic is? We are here to my, my time. I do not, do not answer, answer to you. you. Now, now, this test subject. Jason, 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 I want you to give him 30 cc's of corgazine. That could be fatal. fatal. At this, point, At this we point, we don't know anything about the effects of the mutation. It's our job to find out. We need, we to, need know to know if the know mutated, the mutated virus, virus will respond to the program stimuli. stimuli. 30, 30 cc's should induce a reaction. Yeah, I won't do it. You will do it as you're told. As you're told. Some go so far as to say there was a controlled demolition of the Twin Towers, and that this conspiracy extends as far as the highest levels of government. Who is it? Bob. <laughs> oh, Jason, how are you? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, look at you. Yeah, you look like you got a job at a bank or something. No, I just had a big date. Yeah. I'd come by and check up on you, bud. Oh, man, I'm fine, I'm fine. Hey, you want a beer or something? No, I'm good. Yeah, thanks for a good video. Mm. Oh. So what's happening? I'm worried about you, man. I'm worried about me? Mm -hmm. Fine. I'm fine. Mm -hmm. You got a job? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got one of those. What are you doing? Driving a cab. <laughs> Not only doctors from Pakistan drove cabs. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty oh. funny. Look, um, your ex-wife called me. Jane called you? Yeah. She hates you. <laughs> I know. Uh, you gotta stop. Stop what? Parking outside her house. It's my house too. Jason, she's done with you. Just leave her alone. 
I don't need to hear this from you. I need to hear this from her. You have heard it from Jane. You've heard it from Jane numerous times, man. You need to back off now. I don't need this shit right now. Would you quit with the fucking self-pity? You and her were over before Jake died, and you know it. Thank you, Dr. Phil. It's no joke, Jay. She's scared of you. She's so scared she called me. And what the fuck do you care? I'm your friend. You gotta move on. Stop thinking about what you've lost. I mean, the fact is, we're, we're very lucky to be here. Lucky? When that Iraqi boy nearly killed us, it really made me see the light. <laughs> Are you telling me you found Jesus Christ, too? <laughs> what happened to my Rasta Buddhist friend? <laughs> People change, Jay. They move on. You need to embrace this and let go. Let go of what? Your guilt. Guilt? What do I have to be guilty about? Being alive. Perhaps if you embrace the Lord Jesus. Get out. I'm sorry. Take care of yourself, buddy. Get the fuck out of my apartment. Stay away from Jane. Don't let this escalate. Soldier boy, you got girlfriend in Iraq, you have to party, me up you wrong time. Son of a bitch. Sergeant Robert Nestor, ladies and gentlemen. Jason Bilby, I presume? What the fuck are you doing here? Giving your commissioned ass a ride? Serious. Where you headed? Airstrip. Going stateside. To do what? I... See Jane? I thought that was over, dude. So where'd you steal this ride? I didn't steal this ride. This is my company car, man. Oh, who the fuck would hire you? I work escort duty for LCS. Running civilians from the green zone to hell and back. <laughs> I suppose that gives them a heightened sense of security. I make more in a day than you did in a week working for Uncle Sam. That's so. Look, I uh, found out about your discharge. From who? How'd you know I was here? <clears throat> you may have lost track of me over the years, but I have kept tabs on you. Tabs? Bob, you couldn't find your ass in your underpants. And yet here I am. So I'm supposed to believe that you are our nation's first line of defense in the war on terror? War on terror, man. That's the biggest fucking joke in this place. Shh, don't let them hear you. Oh, fuck them, man. War on terror is like the war on drugs. <laughs> Never gonna win. As long as the appropriate private interests are making money and the public feels we're doing our bit, you know? Bullshit. Wow. When did you become the philosopher? You know me, man. Always searching for the truth. Yeah, I seem to remember you were always searching for it in your next bong hit. That's what I told my CEO, and I still got my ass dishonorably discharged. From you the got car. dishonorably discharged for selling smack on base. And I've learned the trick: not getting caught, which is a lot easier as a civilian. <laughs> yeah. So, fuck this dance, Bob. Why are you really here? Gotta get up pretty early in the morning to pull one over on you, huh? Well, I did get up at a quarter to five. So what's your angle? The headhunters at LCS found out about your falling out with Mother Green and her killing machine, cross-referenced your file with mine, and asked me to make first contact. So, you're offering me a job? <laughs> I never figured you for the human resources type. It looks can be deceiving. And I get a nice big bonus if I sign you, and I'll cut you for half. What do you say? 
What's the deal? Short-term contract as a private security officer. Salary's five times what you used to make, and they offer a very generous benefits package. Benefits? Like what? Company car, man. What the fuck are you doing? Jason, you have got to stop this, or I'm gonna get a restraining order. Jane, I can't. It all just keeps happening over and over again. You need help. I think they did something to me at LCS. You worked for LCS? Yeah, you heard of them? Of course I've heard of them. Yeah, well, I think they infected me with a virus or something. Who infected you with a virus? LCS. But I can't be sure if they're working alone okay, or not. Okay, stop. Stop it. I'm not making this up. I don't care. I don't care, Jason. If somebody did something to you, go to the police. Better yet, go see a doctor. But stop parking in front of my house! Jane, listen. Jane, please. 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 Let go of me. Listen, Jane, please. When I was over there, there was a boy, and he was about the same age as Jake. And he was carrying a grenade. And I killed him. Jason, you can't blame yourself for that. I can't blame myself for that? The fuck not? I shot him in the chest. Because he was going to kill you. Look, him, Jake, the kid at the military compound. I killed them all. And now every time I close my eyes, they're all I see. What do you want from me? Redemption. After all that's happened. I just want to do something right. Parking in front of my house every day is somehow supposed to do that? Jane, a lot of people have died. And I... And what? You want to make their deaths mean something? Jason, they're a series of unrelated events. Tragic. But unrelated. And some crazy conspiracy about a virus isn't going to change that. You are the only person that I can talk to. I am not the only one. You know that if you ever really need Listen, help... Listen, don't you start trying to sell me on this Jesus bullshit right now. I need something real. It is real. More real than anything that ever happened between us. Don't ever come here again. He's a kid for Christ. Stop! Grenade! Grenade! Can we get you anything? Water? Coffee? Where am I? You're okay, then. I could really handle a cigarillo right now. A what? Cigarillo. It's a, a cigarillo. It's what he's... he's smoking. Forgive my lack of tobacco nomenclature. I'd like to give you one. I would. Perhaps if I ask him. Okay. Yes. Detective McLean, can you give this man one of your cigarillos? What? One of your cigarillos. No. He doesn't want to give you one of his cigarillos. Detective McLean, 
May I have one of your cigarillos? You don't smoke, Detective Burgess. I feel I should start. Excellent. Very smooth. I do now see the appeal. Excellent. <clears throat> now then, I have gone out of my way to give you something. What are you going to give me? want. Are we going to play games? I don't like playing games. Well, you don't like being played. Is he playing me? You trying to play him? No, I'm not playing games. I don't even know why I'm here. Didn't you tell him when you arrested him? I'm under arrest? Not yet. You came voluntarily. Agreed to come down here and answer some questions. To clear things up. He's not being very cooperative. No, he's not. I don't remember how I got here. I just woke up here. Blacked out. I don't know. Has this happened before in Iraq? Iraq? Well, it's all here in your file. Discharged after 15 years in the Marine Corps. Reasons for discharge are oh, classified. Information above our pay grade. Then you immediately went to work for LCS. Is that some kind of CIA front? Maybe he's a spook. Secret agent stateside on a top secret mission. It's okay if you are. You can tell us. We're the good guys. I'm sure you are. But there's nothing to tell. So if I'm not under arrest, I think I'll be going home now. Your wife filed a complaint against you. Claimed you were parking in front of her house all hours of the night. There's no law against that. No, which is why we didn't do anything. He really doesn't remember anything. He's lying. I'm not lying. I don't know where I am. I don't know what you want. You taking any medication? No. Well, there was a fire at your wife's house last night. It's actually my house. Your house. There was a fire? Neighbors heard an explosion. Might have been a gas leak. Yeah. Well, you uh, recovered the bodies of two victims, but both were so badly burned, we can't yet positively identify them. Two? Yes. Jane lives alone. Maybe she had company. We think it's more than likely that the woman was your ex-wife, Jane Philby. We were just wondering if you know who the man might be. Man? How do you know it was a man? Was your wife a dyke? No. Then the other body was a man. They were sleeping in the same room together. Now, we can check against your ex-wife's dental records. But we need somewhere to start with the man. Like... Who was fucking your wife? We figured you'd know since you had her under surveillance. Please, uh, look at these. I can't. I know it's difficult, but I need you to look at these photographs and identify the bodies. I can't. Look at them. I can't. Look. Who is the man in these photographs? 
I don't know. You don't know because you don't recognize him? I can't tell. Why can't you tell? Because he's too badly burned. Who is fucking your wife? Why are you showing me pictures of my wife? I thought she was your ex-wife. She certainly is ex-wife now. Mm, not much chance of reconciliation. Now that she's burned beyond all recognition. Uh, <laughs> this is not your ex-wife. There wasn't enough of your wife to photograph. Huh, there wasn't enough left of either body to photograph. This is just some crazy Buddhist fanatic who set himself on fire in protest. You have one hour to write out a statement. Statement? A statement. I'll write a statement. A statement of how you burned your ex-wife's house to the ground and killed her and her boyfriend. What is this, some sort of mind fuck? I don't know what happened to Jane, and I don't know what happened to her house. Well, I thought it was your house. Ah, fuck you. If I'm not under arrest, I'm out of here. Okay. But just don't leave town. We may want to question you further. Oh, and Jason? What? Thank you for your cooperation. Go fuck yourselves. Well, that went well. My name is Samir. Yeah, I know, Samir. Was I in here yesterday? What? Yes, you came in and you bought your, your dirty cigarellos. What time? Uh, it is 7.14. No, 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 not what time it is right now, you stupid haji. What time did I come in yesterday and buy the smokes? Don't give me a haji, you stupid redneck. You know what? Get the hell out of my store. Redneck? Samir, baby, I thought we were buddies, man. Don't call me baby, all right? And we're not buddies. You are a psycho jawhead. Now get the fuck out of my store. Listen. I know you're under a lot of stress right now with your midterms and everything, but don't you ever fucking call me a jarhead. Just get out, all right? I'm tired of your shenanigans, all right? You're coming in here, you're buying your sour cream and your stupid cigarillos, nothing else. You're always calling me the wrong name. Okay, I mean... Okay, I'm sorry, all right? I'm just trying to figure out some really fucked up shit right now. Yeah, you know what? I don't care, because you show me no respect. You think I'm some sort of cartoon character. Well, you know what? You're banned from this establishment. Now get the fuck out! before I called the authorities. Fuck you, you camel riding sand nigger. I was on your side, asshole. What side is that? I'm an American, you racist tug. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, thank you. We now turn to Iraq, where there has been yet another explosion in Baghdad, this time in a facility operated by LCS, a military subcontractor providing support to American operations. Officials Mr. Philby? It's, it's Dr. Was, Habib. Fact, act. Who is it? Dr. Habib from LCS in Iraq. What do you want? I, I need to speak with you, sir. About? Uh, what happened in Iraq? It's happening to you now. Can you, you please just open this door? What do you want? Mr. Philby. Mr. Philby. What the? I apologize for my behavior. I'm telling you, just fucking Just let fuck. me explain. Fuck you, you fucking Please fuck. do not get angry. What the fuck are you doing, huh? Huh? You're supposed to be on our side. You're a fucking doctor. Doesn't this violate your Hippocratic oath? Do no harm. That's exactly why I'm here. Just listen. Listen, please. Oh, Mr. Philby, do you remember a man that we brought into the recovery ward at LCS? A soldier whose, whose insides were liquefied? Yes. And do you remember Black? You know what he does for LCS? No. Arthur Black was the head of LCS's bioweapons division. Bio. So, what was he doing in Iraq? Research. Or, rather, he was field testing the usefulness of a new weapon. Well, none of that explains why you've got me tied to a fucking chair! The weapon that LCS was testing was a virus based on thermogenesis that causes spontaneous human combustion. You're crazy. 
even if that was possible, why would someone want to do it? Public opinion. The simple fact is that support for the war is flagging, that fear on the home front is at an all-time low. So we figured that if we could turn people into human time bombs, no one alone who did it, but there would be enough innuendo to feed the war on terror indefinitely. You sound like one of those 9-11 conspiracy theorists nuts. You have no proof. That soldier in Iraq was a guinea pig, Mr. Philby. He exploded from the inside. So what does this have to do with me? The virus at LCS was testing was strictly in an injectable form. It was only transmittable by direct transfer of bodily fluids. AIDS. Yes, like the HIV virus, but like all things experimental and dangerous, it mutated. So am I infected? Yes. But you were also injected with the experimental antivirus. You were part of a control group used to test the vaccine against the virus. So I'm okay. No. You're like a typhoid Mary. You don't suffer from any of the symptoms, but you can spread the virus to others through casual contact. You must also be suffering from some severe side effects. Have you been suffering from blackout, extreme dementia, uh, full-blown hallucinations? Memory loss? <sighs> well, at least now I know why I'm losing my mind. Its trigger is extreme adrenaline rush brought on by emotional states. Like that, you're... Like that. How do I know this is even true? How do I know that you're not delusional? What I am telling you is the truth. Then why don't you give me more of the antivirus? There is no more antivirus. It was destroyed when the LCS complex was destroyed. No one in the complex survived. No one that you have been in contact with since has survived. No one will. What's that? What's that? What are you doing? What's that? What are you doing? I'm sorry, Jason. No. There is no other way. No. 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 What the fuck? Mind your language, my good man. I just saved your life. I think some measure of appreciation would be in order, don't you, Mr. Philby? What'd you do? It's a special nerve agent we've been developing. The chemical name far too long to remember. Uh, suffice to say, one squirt and you're paralyzed. Two squirts. And you're dead. Do I know you? Of course, you probably wouldn't remember me. You were so drugged up. Let's just say our paths have crossed. In Iraq? Very good. It's all coming back to you now. You were in the LCS hospital when that soldier exploded. Uh, I thought that was a bad dream. You've been having more and more trouble with that, haven't you, Mr. Philby? Distinguishing fact from fiction. Please hold your breath for the next 10 seconds. Disposing of the evidence. You won't even find the minutest trace of DNA. What are you doing here? Tell me. What do you know about spontaneous human combustion? Well, that it's, it's an urban legend. An unexplained, unconfirmed phenomenon that still has traction in the public psyche. But what would you say if I told you it was real? You see, the human body contains enough energy stored in fat and other tissues to consume itself completely. 
Our thermogenesis virus merely acts as a catalyst, the spark, so to speak, that ignites the fire. So you're saying that Habib was telling the truth? Of course. Why do you think I had to kill him? Why haven't you killed me? Two reasons. First, you're a paranoid ex-soldier, witness to many horrific events, including and not limited to the horrific death of your own son. And now, to top it all off, you're a taxi driver. If you tried to tell anyone about this, do you think they would believe you? No. They would say you had post-traumatic stress and would completely disregard anything that you had to say. And the second reason? Your peculiar response to the virus makes you very valuable to us. You see, the problem with the deadliest of viruses is that they are too deadly. Ebola, Marburg, other hemorrhagic fevers. They're generally ineffective as weapons because the people who get infected die before they get a chance to spread it to anyone else. You are offering us a unique opportunity to study the spread of our virus through the general population. So I'm a field experiment, in a manner of speaking. And you no longer have an antivirus. Don't be ridiculous. We never destroy the antivirus, just the people who knew about it. So you want me to randomly bump into people and see if they blow up? Maybe not so randomly. Your ex-wife comes into contact, whether directly or indirectly, with some persons of interest to us. Perhaps I've said too much. What are you doing? I'll give you a little something to help you sleep. This will all seem like a bad dream. What are you... You've been having more and more trouble with that, haven't you, Mr. Philby? Distinguishing fact from fiction. few minutes for those of you just joining us there has been an explosion at a campaign appearance by senator palantine tom what can you tell us at this point not too much jane the senator was on the podium when the explosion occurred unconfirmed reports are telling us that the senator was very close to the center of the blast but it's hard to believe from the destruction i've seen that this could have been an accident tom can you comment at all on the race for the republican nomination Palantine had emerged as a clear front runner. It does appear, however, that this attack will have an effect on the substance of the debate in the upcoming election. We'll check back with you when you've got more for us. Thank you, Tom. Right now, I'm going to show you. What the fuck happened to you? Whatever do you mean? The get up. Oh, this. Just a little something I picked up on my travels. You're crazy. Am I crazy or has the world gone mad? I don't have time for this, Bob. I've got bigger problems. All of that's not important right now. You were right all along. There really is a conspiracy to spread a virus that causes spontaneous human combustion. I don't know how you figured it out, but you were right. This whole thing goes far deeper than anyone could have imagined. Are you hungry? Because I can really go for some flapjacks. I don't have any flapjacks, Bob. You must have the ingredients. You got flour, baking powder. Milk? No. I'm really craving some flapjacks. Bob, I don't have any of these things. Little blueberry flapjacks with Canadian maple syrup and little sausages on the side. <sighs> of course, one could argue that the flapjacks and the sausages are just an excuse for the maple syrup. Like a delivery device. 
like pierogies and sour cream. I mean, you gotta have the pierogies just so you can have the sour cream. I mean, you can't just open up a tub of sour cream and stick your spoon in. What the fuck are you talking about? The eternal return. Time is not infinite, but circular, which means that there is a finite number of possible actions within this circle, which means that we are doomed to repeat everything we do ad infinitum. I don't understand a word that you're saying. You know how people say that everything happens for a reason? Yeah, it drives me nuts. Well, better than the alternative. Which is that everything happens, but for no reason at all. Thoughts like that can make a man crazy. Especially when we didn't want something to happen in the first place. What are you gonna do with that gasoline pump? I know that everything comes back to one point. And when you find your answers, you find out what you already knew, but were too afraid to confront. And your hope gets lost in infinity. Infinity. It's central to the eternal return. Whatever you do, it's already been done an infinite number of times. I don't get it. Ah. It's easy, Jason. If everything you've done has already been done, there can be no consequences for what you'll do, because it's already happened. I can't find the source of the bleeding. Black jacket. Why would the injury be inside? The jacket's in Just do it! Stop! Captain. Yeah, what is it, kid? You got a light? I love these cigarillos. They're the kind Wolverine smokes. Yeah. Yeah, you said that. Gosh, you're shot. Nice lighter. You can have it. I quit. Sir, no one likes a quitter. This is all new. None of this has happened before. No, it's all happened before. Just each time it's slightly different. Stop it. You're supposed to be dead. I watched you die. And again, just now. And yet, here I am, enjoying this fantastic cigarillo. You should quit. Or what? They'll kill me? They're worse than cigarettes. <laughs> like you said, I'm already dead. I'm just a psychological manifestation of your psychological manifestation of your subconscious guilt. This isn't happening. I'm not crazy. How do you explain this conversation? They dosed me with a virus. I'm having imaginary conversations with a dead guy. <laughs> Rationalizing won't make me go away. Why is this happening to me? Look, not everything happens for a reason. My death, your son's death, that little boy in Iraq, those are just unfortunate accidents. Just being in the wrong place at the wrong time and nothing more. Stop it. You gotta stop beating yourself up. Okay, stop trying to find a rational reason to explain these events. Just accept your past and move on. It's been a blast. I can't find the source of the bleeding. Open the flak jacket. Why would the injury be inside? The jacket's in Just do it!
out of Harvard has determined that the ultimate cost of the war will be $2 trillion. This accounts for actual spending by the Defense Department, the cost of veteran pensions and rehabilitation, as well as... Toby, open up, police! Toby, open up, police! You? Yeah. Us. What are you doing here? You called us. I did? Yes, you did. So what do you want? You left a message. You had some valuable information. Maybe it'll be a confession. I called you. You asked for us to come down here. This shithole you call home? You had something to say you couldn't talk about on the phone. I must be losing my fucking mind. You brought us down here to tell us the fucking obvious? In order to make an hour in this shitty job, not enough to deal with fucks like you. My time is valuable, so if you're just jerking my fucking oh. chain, let's hear him out. All right. What I'm gonna tell you might sound a little crazy. I want to talk about my ex-wife's death. The fire. What would you say if I told you she actually blew up? You mean you blew her up, you sick fuck? No, I mean she actually blew up. What? You mean like spontaneous human combustion? Only not spontaneous. I think I may have infected her with something like a, like a, a virus that blew her up. That's the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard. You gotta believe me. I think I've been infected with this, this virus that when I come in contact with people, they blow up. I know it sounds crazy. You gotta believe me. You don't believe me, do you? All right, get out. Mr. Philby. I gotta put a stop to this. If you're not with me, you're against me, so just... Get out. No, I think you better come with us. No, I think you guys ought to come back here. <laughs> Tell that raghead you can't park there. Hey! You can't park here. Go check it out. Yes, sir. everything now become completely clean we can recommend a deal to the da a deal for what what did i do so this i don't know you found it in your car what is it i don't know why did you burn down your apartment <laughs> my apartment we were just there we were just where at my apartment you came there and arrested me we've never been to your shithole of an apartment Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've never been there. How do you know it's a shithole, huh? Where else would a piece of shit like you live? Why'd you burn it down? I did. Maybe it was Bob. Bob? Yeah. Bob Nestor. We work together at LCS. He's a Buddhist now. I don't see how that's possible. Well, it could be a Christian. It's hard to follow him. We don't care what his fucking religion is. It's just not possible that he's the one who burnt down your apartment. Why not? He's nuts. Bob Nestor is the guy you torched along with your ex-wife the day before. What? Yeah. Bob's the guy who was fucking your ex-wife. Bob was not fucking my ex-wife. Are you... I mean, Jane hates him. Well, maybe it was a hate fuck. Okay. Let's slow down. I think we're getting ahead of us. Why did you kill Samir Al-Rashid? He worked at your local convenience store. What did he ever do to you? I'm 
Sabib's dead. Who's Sabib? Oh, it's just what I called him. He reminded me of this doctor I knew in Iraq. Is a game we played. A game you played? You weren't blowing him, were you? No. Look, I knew the guy. We talked all the time. I didn't kill Habib. Samir. Oh, Samir, right. Right. Oh, I'd like to believe you, Jason. But we've got evidence. Hard evidence. It paints a different picture. We can piece most of it together. You had an argument with Samir. You tied him to a chair, and then you shot him. What did he do to you, huh? Spit in your frosty? Why did you do it, you psycho fuck? It's hard to understand why crazy people do crazy things. Look, I know it sounds crazy, but this is all part of a conspiracy. LCS's forte is bioweapons. Their head of research, Arthur Black, was developing a virus that causes people to explode. Why, why would the US government be paying a multinational corporation to do that? to rally the support on the war on terror. Unexplained explosions will keep people scared enough to really put their support behind the right kind of government in the next election. I can't listen to this. No, 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 let's not be so dismissive. Mr. Philby, I have an open mind. Tell me how you found this out. Habib told me. Uh, yeah, and then Black confirmed it after he killed Habib. So Black killed Habib? Yeah. Was this before or after you killed Samir? I did not kill Samir. You killed a bee. I didn't kill anybody. Now I'm confused. And I'll, even if I gave you a pass on that explanation, you still have to explain this. Now we have evidence here that proves you planted a bomb in your ex-wife's house. That is my house. C4 triggered by a remote device. Probably this cell phone. Nice little IED. You learned that shit in Iraq? Why did you? I didn't do... I didn't kill anybody. It's LCS. It's the conspiracy. There's no conspiracy, you fucking, fucking fruitcake. fruitcake. You're, You're demented. demented. Hello? Hello? Anybody, anybody home? home? Are, you Are you getting all this? this? Is, Is there, there anybody, anybody in there? there? There was, was no, no fucking virus. virus. <laughs> Think about it. Why would I fabricate a story that's so credible? Huh? Who am I trying to fool? Credible? You think this story is credible? I mean, this may make sense on uh, one of the outer moons of planet crazy, but here on Earth? You're a smart guy, Philby. You had to make up a story that was convincing enough to fool yourself. To fool myself? Why on earth would I want to fool myself? It's all in your head. I guess, I guess to, to compensate, compensate for your guilt, guilt and all the things, things you've done, done you've come, come up with some crazy, crazy shit. shit. What made you snap? I think he never forgave himself for the death of his son. That was an accident. What about Samir al-Rashid? Was that an accident? Did you get the answers to what you were looking for? <sighs> Maybe he did it to stop from remembering what really happened.
that poor kid up good. Immolated him like a protesting Buddhist. I guess you were on a roll, having torched your ex-wife and Bob Nestor the day before. I didn't do any of these things. It's the virus. Shh, 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 shh. Stop it. There is no virus. We really can't help you if you don't help us. We need you to tell us what happened in your ex-wife's house. Did you see Bob go into the house? Is that how you figured it out? Figured out that your ex-wife was fucking your best friend? That must have made you feel angry. Oh, I would have been pissed off at both of them. Betrayed by my wife and my best friend. My ex-wife. And Bob is far from my best friend. Did you kick the door in, or did you just stand there like a pussy with your heart torn out? Or did you still have a key? Did you confront them? Did you make a big scene? A lot of screaming and yelling? No, no, no. I don't think that's what happened. What do you mean? Well, he was still in too much shock. Oh, yeah, I think he'd need to see them both together with his own eyes. He was still in denial at that point. You must have gone upstairs. That's where we found the bodies. In the master bedroom. You probably stood in front of the door but couldn't go in. You probably heard them fucking. You couldn't go in, could you? No, so we went quietly downstairs. Into the kitchen. And turned on the gas stove. Stop us at any time if we're getting this wrong. Or if we're leaving out any pertinent details. Yeah. Then you went into the living room. Where you placed your homemade ID on the coffee table. Back to the car. Probably went out for a smoke to let the gas fill up the place. And then you blew it up. Are we getting this more or less right? We'll type it up and you'll sign it. I'm not signing anything. Have it your way. Some guys just got to do it the hard way. Some guys just never learn from their mistakes. Some guys keep making the same mistakes over and over and over again. Like the eternal return. What did he just say? Well, he said some guys keep making the same mistakes over and over and over again. No, 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 after that. He didn't say anything. Yeah, he did. He said, like the eternal return. Mr. Philby, this is your lucky day. My superiors have just informed me that you're not going to be formally charged. So I'm free to go? No. You'll be remanded to a state psychiatric institution for psychological testing. On whose authority? You don't need to. Tipperary, it's a long way. 